So this outfit, you know, is when he called us all garbage. How stupid. What a stupid word. That blows deplorable away, don't you? Think? Of course, I thought irredeemable when she said deplorable or irredeemable. I thought irredeemable was actually worse, but deplorable seemed to catch up. But this garbage stuff blows, blows it away. So I'm in this beautiful plane. I'm enjoying myself. I have a wonderful suit on. And one of my people came in and said, sir, you know, the word garbage is the hottest thing right now out there. The hottest thing out there, sir, would you like to drive a garbage truck? Now, we're about, you know, 30 minutes from landing. We had to do this pretty quick. I said, it's sort of cool, though, isn't it? Because, you know. And I said, you know, I think that's okay, but, you know, I don't feel comfortable wearing a suit. They pulled up this garbage truck. I don't know how the hell they did it so fast. I have very capable people. They put a big sign on the truck. Did you see it? I think they showed it. And then they said, sir, we have a vest. I said, well, should I leave my suit on and put it over the vest? But that doesn't look very good, right? That doesn't look good. So I said, all right, look, let me take it off. And then I actually said, I climbed into the truck. But here's the, so I said, how the hell do you get into this truck? It's way up high. It's a big one. <laughs> this was a beauty. I said, you didn't have to buy it that big, right? You have to get it that big. They brought this brand new, gorgeous truck, wonderful driver. He looked like uh, Cary Grant in his prime. You know who that is? <laughs> this beautiful driver. And he drove that big thing up. And I said, man, this is bad, because now I have all the cameras are all watching. Look, look at all the fake news. They were most of them. <laughs> now, most of them, many of them were there. And I'm saying, oh, boy, you know, one little mistake with these guys and you, your political career is over. You can't even. So I said, man, if I don't get up there, this is going to be very embarrassing. These stupid people, they'll say, he's cognitively and physically impaired. <laughs> and I can't do that when I'm alongside of this great athlete. I got to get up to that. First air is like up here. I'm saying, shit. <laughs> so I had the adrenaline going and I made it. <laughs> I made it. And then I gave a little news conference from the front of the, you know, they asked their wise guy questions and everything. And then uh, we drove about two feet. I got out, got into the plane. <laughs> and then I got in the car and I'm driving over here and I have this still on. And I come into the arena and I say, where's my jacket? I want to get out of this thing. <laughs> and they said, it would be unbelievable if you could wear it on stage. I said... And I said, no way. I got 25,000 people standing outside. I got all these people here. There's no way I'm wearing it on stage. They said, oh, okay, sir. I said, get me my jacket. It actually makes you look thinner. I said, oh. And they got me. I said, I want to wear it on stage. When they said I look thinner, I said, in that case, I'll wear it on stage. I may never wear a blue jacket again. I may go. I may go in this. I said, that was the word. That was the key. Sir, you look thinner. So anyway, so we had a little fun about a very serious subject. We had a little fun about a time where our country is not having a lot of fun because we're, we're not doing well as a country. But we're going to be doing well very shortly. I promise you that. Very, very